All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one here is going to be another quick hit. Uh, hopefully, Lord willing, edifying to those of the hopeful elect. And uh, this topic came up earlier. And this is some wisdom from King Solomon. All right. This wisdom is very much needed in our journey and walk in this truth. All right. Scriptures say you receive not because you ask not. You know, another scripture that's come to mind is when the Lord said, let your eye be single. All right. You want that light of righteousness, not that light of darkness. You know, you can't have a foot in the world and a foot in this truth. You know, now if you're using the world. The scriptures say, just don't abuse the world, all right? Because we, we are living in the world. You know, we're subject to the things that are around us, and we got to live according to this, this season, this, this time we're in. But don't abuse it, all right? This is Proverbs 30 and 7. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Least I'll be full and deny thee and say, Who is Yahweh? Or least I'll be poor and still and take the name of my power in vain. All right, so he says in verse 8, Remove far from me vanity and lies. You don't want to live your life in a lie. You know, this goes out to you different Israelite camps. You know, if you, you know, believe in you're an Israelite and you've woken up to the fact that it's truth of who we are, of your nationality, Okay, now we got vocab, you know, saying that it's like we won a lottery ticket. So let's say you don't got this winning lottery ticket, you know, you want to live your life according to truth. All right, which is what? Going according to the, the word, which is dealing with the prophecies, the true prophecies that are going to take place, not of vanity and lies. All right, so it says, remove far from me vanity and lies, especially for those who come up out of that Christianity world, all right, that plantation slavery doctrine that you believed all your life, that your parents did, all right, that white supremacy, you know, claiming that the son of the most high is, uh, is Jesus Christ and he's a so-called white man, all right, so remove far from me vanity and lies, you don't want to live your life in a lie, it's vanity, it says give me neither poverty nor riches, all right. Don't make me poor, but don't make me rich. That's what that's what uh, King Solomon is saying. Don't make me poor and don't make me too rich. Now, if you poor, what happens is, you know, you, you live a life of a thief, a conniving, sneaky man, woman. All right. The scriptures say there's a precept in the Apocrypha that says uh, live not a big guard's life. All right. Uh, another precept comes behind that. The scriptures say, where have the righteous been forsaken and begging bread? Meaning a lot of these folks out here think we're poor. We ain't got nothing. We this, we that. But we're not poor as bums on the street. All right. Brothers got homes. Brothers got businesses, man. Okay. Brothers are taking care of their family. Brothers got things going for themselves according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's will. All right. Now it says riches. Riches. Because why? If you're rich, you basically have no need of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? You have no need. Uh, Yahweh Shai said it's hardly for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. You know, not saying that a rich man can't make it or be of the elect, but it's hardly for a rich man to enter in because why? He has everything a heart wished for, meaning he has his constellation. All right? He's in his kingdom, so to say. You know? But even rich men going to fall. To poverty and these days of Jacob's trouble It's going to come to that point where even a rich man Is going to be uh, howling For vexation of spirit Because of the times, because of the, the end Here of Esau's kingdom Right, so it says feed me uh, With food convenient For me, now the key word There is convenient, so Just gave it a quick Google look up The word convenient It says fitting and well With a person's needs activities and plans all right so convenient is that balance 
that's what we want. You don't want to be too, you don't want to be too poor and you don't want to be too rich. You want to be in between. You want to be balanced. You want to you want to have the fitting and well with a person's needs. What do we need? The necessity things, you know, we need the food, water, shelter, clothes, okay? You need good health, sort of striving for some sort of good health, you know, especially if you're dealing with infirmities. We need certain things to, to live in the flesh. Activities. Now, you can say these activities is when brothers go out and camp, all right? You would need what? You need your 12 tribe sign. You need your banners, all right? You might got some books. You might need gas money for your car. You might need, you know, you might have to carpool with brothers or with a case. You need, you know, that is the activity that we do, all right? We go out and prophesy. Now it says in plans. What are our plans? Okay? Our plans is to make it to the kingdom. Our plans is to, is to receive salvation in hopes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah deliver us. Okay? So fitting in well with a person's needs, activity, and plans. It says involving little trouble or effort, situated so as to allow easy access to. So suitable, uh, fitting, fitting, fit. Yeah, suited, agreeable, right. So that's convenient, man. So convenient is balance. Now it says verse eight: Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. And that convenient also. Or that word food can also be can be used according to scripture. You don't want to be a guy jumping from diff different camps, eating, taking food of different doctrines, you know. Or here you are dealing with the word and you're trying to swallow down, you know, dark, uh, let's say the breakdowns before you can even get the milk. You know, you want to have a balance. You know, you're learning this topic now. Stick with that topic until it, it's mastered, until you know it well. You know, and then after a while, you know, we always, you know, we're in the flesh. We got to go back and brush up because if you don't touch on it, you'll lose it, you know, or it'll escape from you until you go back. But anyway, it says, feed me food convenient for me. Least I'll be full and deny thee. Deny what? Deny Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because why? You're full. You don't need a, sal a savior. All right. That's why it's, 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 it's crazy how Esau, uh, you know, crying and, you know, claiming that they're God-fearing people when y'all don't need a savior when we're living in their kingdom, you know? But anyway, you know, because who needs a savior? Yasha Allah, Israel, you so-called blacks and Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, man, West Indians and so-called Haitians. These, these the people that need a savior, for real. Now it says, least I be full and deny thee and say, who is Yahweh? Or at least I'll be poor and still and take the name of my power in vain. All right. So let me grab one more precept. Like I said, it's supposed to be a quick hit. And uh, uh, put balance in. Okay, this is Proverbs 11 and 1. Uh, I'm going to read 16. 16 and 11 first. It says, A just weight and balance are the Lord's, are Yahweh. All the weights of a bag are his work. You see? You know, the Most High plans out our steps. Uh, scriptures say he guided the steps of the righteous. Uh, yeah, I want to butcher it. Yeah, he guided the steps of the righteous, roughly paraphrasing. All right? So all the weights of the bag are his works. Okay? So that's why you receive not because you ask not. This is Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to Yahweh. But a just weight is his delight. Because if you have a false balance, you're going to be on one side of the spectrum than you, than you are of the other side. So if there's not a balance there, then guess what? It's an abomination. It's counted as a filthy act. You know? And it says, but the just weight is, is his delight. Okay? Being balanced. So pray for balance. So hopefully this lesson was edifying to those of the whole for elect. You know, continue to keep praying. Asking the Lord for mercy. And endurance and strength to endure the hell that's coming all right that's actually approaching you know all these things esau whipping up and it's going down all right but we're going to rejoice because why we know we have the kingdom next and if we have the elect then we ain't got nothing to worry about man so with that want to give all praise to you how about shy by shim rakakwadash want to give double honors to the apostles and elders a great millstone salutations to the lord's hopeful elect shalom